Good morning. Got home at around 4.35, got up at around 7. I'm here now at the uh, train station. Waiting for that board to tell me what gate I have to go to to uh, take my train for Marseille, where I'll be then headed to uh, Cassis. Um, where I'll be spending uh, most of my time uh, checking out some Magdal insights. So this is our land, this is the land that I'm on, that's the entrance to uh, the property that I'm on, this is my guest house, it's just endless, endless and gorgeous, endless and gorgeous, that's the main house and the pool, land is built on uh, what seems to be crystal rock, this is an example of the rock that the land is built on, so as you can see, it's all crystal. So very charged. Crystal technically is a living is a living rock. Maybe it has memory. It can be charged. It can clear emotion, store emotion, and all that. So um, yeah, it's very special to be. So we are on our way to Rennes. Chateau, the Le Chateau, which is a very popular place, uh, Magdalen sites. Uh, we're going to three spots specifically: Rennes Le Chateau, Rennes Le Bain, and uh, Mount Bougaresh. Uh, in Rennes Le Chateau, there is a Magdalen church that was built on top of a Isis temple. There's also a church and a tower. So in this whole area, all these sacred sites are built on a pentagram, which is interesting. And this is all Cathar land. Cathars were, uh, have a, uh, it's a religion, which is uh, similar to early Christianity, but Christianity then changed and they lost a lot of uh, oops. They lost a lot of the important uh, authenticity of it. Their beliefs are interesting. Example that you don't need a priest to communicate with God. That uh, you can pre uh, that the teachers who are were called parfait can marry each other, male female. So all these these good things that supported uh, a, uh, a deeper connection with yourself and God versus breaking that connection to go priests. So that's where we're going. We're also going to Rennes les Bains. That's where Magdalene was doing uh, baptisms. And there's a lot of, uh, the water was very healing in that time, uh, probably still now. And what else? There's also, uh, deep in the grotto there, there's going to be uh, a 5,000 year old stone throne which is also known as the Seat of Isis. So, and then in Mount Bougarech is also where uh, Jules, uh, Jules Verne was inspired to write Journey to the Center of the Earth. This area is also known for a lot of UFO sightings as well as um, very, very, very special energies. So they say there's some like intergalactic uh, doorways or interdimensional doorways. So we're gonna check it out one step at a time. This is gonna change the life for you.
it's really special. It's a little cathedral here. We found this little grotto and uh, we're gonna do some intention setting and then see what the little town has uh, in store for us. Love is to share, for you. stands for the three steps of life which is the the birth the use then there is your adult life and then there's the wisdom the old age So we, we just left the uh, Rennes Le Chateau, um, I'm very happy, Merci. the place has a uh, really good energy, yeah. uh, the town has good energy, the people have good energy, uh, it's just a very positive energetic space. Uh, the little chapel that we were in was built on top of a temple of Isis supposedly. Uh, the we didn't feel a lot of energy in the chapel specifically however there was a little like seating area next to it which we weren't allowed to go on and what did I say about the places you're not allowed to go usually the spots, spots with were, the most <laughs> energy yeah, yeah, yes, yes. so uh, that tells me that was, it's always a clue for me that when you're not allowed to go that the energy is there well, yeah. so the devil at the entrance of the church was very special Usually you don't see a devil in a church, but at the, the entrance of a at, church. Uh, exactly, yeah. specifically at the entrance of the church. It's the devil, I don't remember the name of that devil, but he was, is the devil who is the garden of the temple of Solomon. That's right. It's the devil of the garden of Solomon, supposedly. Supposedly. Which and we don't know if he did it because it was that type of devil or because he was anti-republican and it was just to show that the church, you know, will crush the the republicans government. or if, if, if it's often in the temple of Solomon since it's a demon that's guarding the treasures, the gold and we there's a story about maybe he found gold and that's how he got all the money to just redo everything so, the question is, is this his sense of humor that he put a demon because that demon is guarding his secret, his treasure. Yeah, so that's an interesting story. We will, we are headed to eat now because we haven't eaten all day and we will see where we're going to go from there. Au revoir! Au revoir!